Good morning to you. Mark out of HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Outlook and discussion for the 12th of September 2017. I am in South Carolina on my way back home to North Carolina after a grueling uh, but very successful overall field mission for Hurricane Irma. And I'm going to talk more about that in tomorrow's update. going to have two different updates tomorrow, maybe even three uh, discussions on different things. You know, the Hurricane Outlook and discussion certainly and then maybe two different ones, and you'll see. Let's focus right now on Jose as Irma is dying out slowly here uh, over the Tennessee Valley area, and I'll show you that in a minute on the GFS. Um, but with Jose, the Hurricane Center 11 o'clock advisory still showing uh, it as a hurricane. Uh, it's supposed to weaken down to tropical storm intensity and then make the turn, and then they have it coming up to the north here, and you could just extrapolate this out that maybe it would turn on out to sea, and while that is likely at this point, it's still a big question mark as to whether or not that will happen. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Uh, one thing, though, that will happen as it restrengthens the water temperatures out here, very warm. And so what's going to happen, you're going to get these swells that come out from Jose towards the coast here. And that will be great for your uh, surfing interests. But if you are going to the beach over the next few days, uh, pay attention, you go to weather.gov, put in the zip code of the area that you are visiting, or if you live there, or especially if you're new to the coastal areas, these swells, when they reach the shore, uh, they are awesome to play in and for the surfers to take advantage of, but especially for little children and people that are just not good swimmers, you need to be very mindful of the dangers of these swells. Surf and rip currents from tropical cyclones or a low statistical um, point when you look at a chart, but they do kill people. So we need to be very careful, and they injure people as well. Uh, these, all of these cyclones have impacts when they get close to land. Luckily, though, for Bermuda, it shouldn't get too much closer to your area. And again, we'll just have to see what kind of impacts, uh, whether directly or indirectly, Jose has. It's not a done deal. The, you know, the ridge, the strength of the ridge up here is going to very much dictate what happens over the next few days, but more than likely the models are leaning towards this moving on around the western side of the Bermuda High. Uh, the satellite animation this morning shows a disorganized system with upper level winds pushing on it. Deep convection though, it certainly is trying, but it's getting beat back by the very strong upper level winds, and you can see those literally just rotating around on top of this, pushing the thunderstorms away from the center of circulation. Now, the overnight models, this is the zero, um, the 6Z guidance package. And uh, this red one here, this dark red, is the UK Met. And it's been consistently showing this turn back towards uh, South Florida. And the UK Met model is a really reliable global model. It is definitely up there with the GFS and the European. Uh, and so why it's showing this, um, I can't necessarily explain. Obviously, it's showing a lot stronger ridging, and uh, the system takes off to the west-northwest before turning. And so that can't be completely discounted. Uh, and the majority of the guidance brings this all the way back over here to 75 west, which is interesting because if we go and look at the Hurricane Center forecast, they turn it north between 70 and 75, closer to, and we could look at the discussion to get the exact point, but... The western edge of the envelope guidance, uh, the guidance envelope had it reversed there, I'm sorry, is what the models show, and then the Hurricane Center forecast is far to the east of that overall. Uh, it just depends on how you interpret it. And if you look at this from the 6Z guidance, clearly most of the guidance is back over here, even the consensus towards 75 west. So that's interesting. I don't, I'll have to read the discussion. On my own later, uh, I want to keep this kind of brief and uh, figure out their reasoning. Uh, the intensity, I'm sorry, this is the GFS ensembles. Maybe this is a big part of it because the 6Z GFS ensembles, which are all the other members of the GFS kind of playing what if, you know, that guidance envelope, if you go right down the middle, would give you a good idea of where the Hurricane Center's forecast track is, and it would be well off the East Coast, except that one little member uh, right there, uh, well beyond a week out trying to brush Cape Cod and Nantucket, but maybe that one member, that's ensemble member group, uh, member number 13. So 
member number 13 will toss it out, right? So the operational from 6Z today, watch what happens here with Jose. The ridge builds back over it right here. It makes that turn, and it comes up you know, to a position about right here at the end of the five-day forecast time. And there's Bermuda over there, uh, so no worries for you. But again, the swells, especially as it's close here, will be sent out. And uh, that'll be spectacular to see. It's a small hurricane, but it should be fairly strong, maybe reaching Category 2 or 3. You never know, uh, especially this season, right? And so we'll just have to wait and see what the upper air pattern. This is five days out. And, you know, you could just go on out to six days and see where it ends up. And that's a long time. We saw that with Irma. We don't want to make that mistake of thinking, well, this is where it's going to be in five days. The average forecast error in the Hurricane Center plots are over 200 miles. And so, you know, it could be somewhere, anywhere along in there easily. And that's probably not even, maybe even a little bit further west or east. So the bottom line, we need to keep an eye on it for obvious reasons, and there's no worry just yet. Uh, and we'll see maybe the 12Z version of the UK Met model joins the rest, or do the rest start to join the UK Met model. So, you know, it's a story that will be unfolding, and uh, we will be on top of it. The rest of the tropics are nice and quiet for right now as we enter the second half of the season. So, again, the Irma mission and Harvey before that, very successful, and a lot of that is thanks to you, uh, helping to crowdfund what we do. Remember, this is my job, and I do pay people to help. I am the main front man of everything, of course, and as any good front man has uh, a good band or you know people behind him, whether it's the conductor of an orchestra, I've used that analogy before, or a popular you know rock and roll star, whoever, they have to have the support of people behind them, and they have to have the support of the fans who purchase their records, etc., by their music. Well, in this case... You know, we do need your help, and uh, you can send PayPal contributions. It all adds up, and then for the long term, we're really trying to build up this Patreon and grow that because it's a monthly thing that we can be able to sustain this going forward, and I'm going to talk about that in a separate post on uh, tomorrow and uh, really dig deep and just give you some insight as to what this is all about and so people thoroughly understand our goals what we're trying to do, and that really emphasize the point that this is, for me especially, uh, my career. I've done this for over 20 years, and where we want to go from here. But that's going to be for tomorrow that I'll talk about all that in much more detail. All right, that's it for me for today. I'm on my way back home to North Carolina. I should be there this evening in Wilmington, and I know the ha uh, family will be happy to see me, and likewise, I'll be happy to see them, and uh, I'll keep focusing on everything working on some post-Harvey and post-Irma stuff, and we'll keep a track, a good watch on what's happening with Jose as well. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. I'm Mark Settle for HurricaneTrack.com. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.